Hey guys, Jeremy Winnington here from Thinkaholics. We're back at Dreamforce 2016. I'm here with Willie Leiter, the VP of Marketing for CypherCloud. So Willie, what can you tell people about what you guys do? Sure, thanks. So CypherCloud is in the cloud security business. Um, we work closely with Salesforce, we have for a number of years, as well as a range of other clouds. Essentially, we add a layer of security between enterprises and the clouds they use so that they can have reasonable protections over data. We do encryption, we do tokenization, we can also scan files or unstructured data for potential policy violations. We've done this with large enterprises that have been wanting to adopt Salesforce or other clouds, but been told that they couldn't because of compliance reasons. So we solved that problem and let them use the cloud. So uh, you know, I got to see a little bit of the demo and, and talk to you guys about it. it. It sounds like your architecture is you know, slightly different from encryption point of view than something like that's what's on Salesforce now, right? Yeah, exactly. So we work in a couple of different ways. Um, we provide a proxy, a gateway that is external to the clouds, typically run by our customers. And the reason for that is if they're encrypting data, they want to keep the keys and they want some separation of duties between the cloud provider and themselves. Plus, they might be doing this across multiple clouds. So for encryption to be really 100% effective, um, it's kind of basic security that you want to separate that process and the enterprises we work with will never consider sharing their key in any model. So the encryption keys, keys the castle, the data is all being done on premise, on your systems. Is right, that, is that correct? Correct. We also do tokenization, kind of a cousin to encryption, where there are data residency laws, like in Canada or in Europe, we can actually substitute data. Now, we also provide a cloud service using Salesforce APIs, a different model where we're not in line um, for any user coming anywhere. We're scanning content, monitoring user activity, looking for potential violations, maybe someone put a credit card number in a notes field, and then based on your policies, we can either notify people, we can delete it, we can quarantine it, or we can encrypt it. So we support a couple of models with Salesforce. So data that I'm sourcing inside of Salesforce, right? I'm yeah. entering data, maybe it needs to be encrypted or secure. Right. What model would that follow, both of them or? If it's structured data, um, typically you know, field level information, we would recommend the gateway. And it's important to think that you only do this selectively. You may pick just a few sensitive fields like a social security number or a credit card or a last name or a, an address. Personal identifying. Exactly. Yeah. And what we do then is we encrypt the data, we send just crypto text to Salesforce, but we're very careful not to break any functionality. Um, the cool thing and the hard thing that we've pioneered is we can still search against that, we can sort, we can run reports. We essentially, if we break Salesforce, it's pointless. So we maintain all of the functionality. We also support dozens of App Exchange products um, in very large ecosystems. But that's essentially it. Okay. And you know, on, on your booth, it talks about data loss prevention and yeah. data monitoring, right? So right. What, what are you guys doing there? So this is um, what I mentioned with our using Salesforce's newest APIs. We can monitor all the activity um, and look for anomalies, look for things that are in the wrong place. Essentially, the unstructured data, the notes, the file attachments, you know, you don't know what you don't know. Mm -hmm. So we can scan that content. We have a DLP engine that we, or we connect to enterprise DLPs. We spot a violation like a credit card number. Then you can set a whole range of policies to take. So some people start with monitoring, which is great. See if there are any problems. Then they'll selectively set some policies to take care of the obvious stuff and work their way into it. And are you looking at just you know data as they're entering it, or are you looking at like activities that they do, maybe downloading the whole database or doing yeah, things like exactly. that? Yeah, exactly. So so a part of monitoring is using anomaly detection, and we have machine learning algorithms that look for your standard patterns. You always log in nine to five during the week, and suddenly you're there on Sunday night. Downloading everything. terabytes, yeah. that's, a, that's an event that we would flag and notify administrators right away. So yeah, that's, that's um, where one direction this is all going, using machine learning to identify anomalies, strange things that, are, that probably indicate a problem. Yeah. All right, so if people want to try this out, what's the best thing for them to do? Yeah, um, go to cyphercloud.com. We actually have a free six-month trial for everyone at Dreamforce. We'll extend it to viewers of this. Um, to try our cloud-based service. Um, and we recommend you call us, we have a discussion, we have uh, some great engineers who can talk about your architecture, your specific use case. Okay. But start at the website. I right, appreciate it, Willie. Great, thanks a lot.